I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Department of Forestry and Natural Resources Extension, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the American elm. Ulmus Americana, also known as white elm, is a beautiful deciduous tree of the eastern United States. This graceful, well-known species is a member of the Ulmaceae, or elm family, which is made up of 18 to 19 genera and about 150 to 200 species, which are found in the temperate regions of both hemispheres. In Kentucky, we have five elm species, with American and slippery elm the most widespread and numerous. A tall, gracefully spreading tree that has a naturally occurring vase-like or urn-like habit or form when growing in an open setting. It was America's favorite shade tree for lawns and streets, especially in the northern cities. When planted along streets, its high, graceful branching, branching created a high tunnel or vaulted effect along the streets. American elm is a rapidly growing tree that typically grows 60 to 80 feet tall and about 2 to 5 feet in diameter. It is considered a long-lived species, often reaching 175 to 200 and even 300 years. Unfortunately, a vascular fungus, Dutch elm disease, has had a tragic impact on American elms. The hundreds of thousands of dead elms in the forest, shelter belts, and urban areas are testimony to the seriousness of this disease. American elm's native range includes most of the eastern United States into parts of the Midwest, to North Dakota, and into Texas. In Kentucky, it is found across the state. It grows well in soils with a neutral pH that have medium moisture and are well drained, but it is also known to adapt to both wet and dry sites. It is typically considered more of a bottomland species than upland species. Throughout its range, American elm seldom grows in pure stands and is usually found in a mixture with other species. In fact, it's a major component of four major forest cover types. American elm is classed as intermediate and shade tolerance among eastern hardwoods. American elm has deciduous, simple leaves, and the leaves are alternately arranged on the twig, as you can see in the photo. The leaves are ovate to oblong in shape and 3 to 5 inches long and between 1 to 3 inches wide. The leaf base is offset or uneven, and the margins are coarsely or doubly serrated, which you can also see in the photo. The upper surface is green and occasionally um, it's kind of scabrous or rough, and the underside of the leaf is pale green and downy. Autumn leaf color is a soft yellow. American elm is monoecious, meaning that a tree has both male and female flowers. The male and female flowers are small and inconspicuous and they're reddish to greenish in color. They're usually in drooping clusters of three to five. And the flowers appear several weeks before leaf out in early spring. The flowers are wind pollinated and mammals such as squirrels eat the flower buds and flowers, thus reducing the potential seed crop. The fruit is the seed that is surrounded by a flat, rounded, papery wing that's about three-eighths to half an inch across. The papery wing is deeply notched at the top. The fruit ripens shortly after pollination in early spring and is wind disseminated. Seeds may germinate immediately after they drop or they can remain dormant until the following spring. Trees can begin seed production as early as 15 years, with abundant production not occurring until 40 years, and American elm is a prolific seed producer when mature. Mice, squirrels, possum, rough grouse, northern bobwhite, and Hungarian partridge commonly eat the seeds. Small American elms are known to vigorously stump sprout. The bark is ashy gray with flat braided like ridges. They have diamond shaped fissures that separate the flat braided ridges. The outer bark is layered with alternating buff colored and reddish layers. And young trees tend to have a very spongy feeling bark. The wood of American elm is moderately heavy, hard and stiff. It has an interlocking grain and is difficult to split, which is an advantage for its use as hockey sticks and where bending is needed. It is used principally for furniture, hardwood dimensions, flooring, construction, and mining timbers, and sheet metal work. Some elm goes into veneer for making boxes, crates, and baskets, and a small quantity is used for pulp and paper manufacturing. American elm supports a variety of wildlife. The flowers and seeds provide food for squirrels, mice, possum, ruffed grouse, and northern bobwhite. 
The leaves also provide food for a variety of Lepidopteran larvae, including the Eastern Comma and Question Mark, the Morning Cloak, the Painted Lady, and the Red Spotted Purple Butterflies, as well as the Columbian Silk Moth and the Banded Tussock Moth. The trees are also a good nesting site for a variety of birds. American elm has been severely impacted by Dutch elm disease. It's the most damaging disease of elms and the leading cause of elm mortality, and all species of elm are susceptible to Dutch elm disease. This disease was first described in the Netherlands in 1919, and it spread to the United States in 1930 in a shipment of elm logs from Europe, and has since spread coast to coast. Dutch elm disease is caused by the invasive fungal pathogen Osteostoma nova ulmi, which is spread by both the European bark beetle and our native elm bark beetle when they are feeding on the trees. It can also spread from tree to tree through root grafts. The fungus invades and grows in the xylem, or the water conducting vessels of infected elms, eventually creating blockages which cause the tree to wilt and die. Sanitation or removal of infected materials can significantly reduce the spread of new infections, and there are preventative chemicals available to protect healthy elm trees from the disease for up to three years. Most of these chemicals are injected in the lower stems or upper roots and move upward in the tree, so these treatments aren't effective for root graft infections. And additionally, the treatments are costly, but it might be appropriate for high-valued trees. The national champion American elm as of 2021 is in Baltimore, Maryland. It's 260 inches in circumference, 112 feet tall, with an 84-foot crown spread. The Kentucky champion is in Jackson County, Kentucky, and it's 225 inches in circumference, 110 feet tall, with a 116-foot crown spread. If you'd like to know more about champion trees, check out American Forest Champion Trees or check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for a few fun facts about American Elm. American Elm is the state tree of Massachusetts and North Dakota. There are many famous elm trees, but a few of the famous ones include the Treaty Elm, which was in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where William Penn entered into a treaty of peace in 1683 with the native Lenape. The Washington Elm, which stood in Cambridge, Massachusetts, was where General George Washington took command of the American Continental Army in 1775. And the survivor tree in Oklahoma City that was located directly across from the Alfred P. Murr Federal Building that was bombed in 1995. And even though the tree was damaged, it bloomed the following year and has been known as the, the survivor tree since. The scientific genus name Ulmus is the ancient Latin name for elm, and the specific epithet Americana means from America. Thanks for joining me to learn about the American elm, and I hope you get the opportunity to get out into your woodland, a local park, or take a walk in your neighborhood and maybe see the elegant American elm.